Hello everybody, Rackender here. Welcome to Rivals of Aether. Uh, or Aether, however you want to call it. So, uh, this is going to be a, a new thing that I'm going to start doing a lot more of. Uh, uh, definitely really liking this game. So this is an early access uh, game called Rivals of Aether. And it is basically... Um, a Smash Super Smash Brothers uh, clone in a way. Um, it does some of its own cool things, but uh, it's essentially a platform fighting game, just like Super Smash Brothers is, and it's a really, really good one. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and actually start making videos with it because it's something that I will be doing a lot of. I will definitely be playing a, a lot of uh, Rivals of Aether in the future, and I figured why not do a lot more of, or do some Rivals of Aether on my channel. Uh, so this is going to be the first video, um, an introductory video, sort of. Uh, it's an early access game, mind you, so there will be some changes in the final product. Uh, I do recommend this game if you enjoy Super Smash Brothers. Uh, my favorites, uh, I've always been a big fan of Melee. I've played competitive Melee for a good two years now. Uh, and this fits my boat in a lot of ways. Um, there's no O canceling, thank God. I hate that. Even though I love melee, I freaking hate O canceling to no end. Um, it's just kind of pointless. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, it's an early access game, so unfortunately, there's no like story mode or whatever. Um, it's locked. Um, so I will, whenever the actual game releases, I will do a story mode run through for my channel and I'll also do I don't know what abyss mode will be but it sounds pretty interesting so for now there's only two options really you can go uh, online and find an opponent or you can play uh, versus mode um, and do that so the first thing we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna play a couple of these characters in versus uh, before I go online with this we're gonna just do just do like a couple um, my, I'm gonna play my three mains. So I play, I play the Falco. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Falco. I don't care. Raster. Uh, I like playing Rocky over here too. Crag and uh, Forest Burn, who's kind of like Marth. Um, so each of these characters uh, have some resemblances to melee. Their melee counterparts, but there's a lot of like nuances that are a lot different, and they make. Each character is very interesting, so I would say that it's a it's a really cool fighting game, and I really enjoy a lot of it. So we'll go to level six CPU. Um, I've I've never played like a level nine CPU. I've been playing online, so I'm not too familiar with how stupid they are at level nine. I imagine level nine they'll just like parry you all the time. So we'll go ahead and start this up. So let's pick a we'll we'll do an, uh, a basic stage for now. Um, uh, Ether stages are uh, kind of like the fun stages. There's some hazards in a couple of them, and they do some silly things. But uh, the e the basic stages are what the tournaments or like when you go online. These are like the tournament viable stages. So let's see. I really like this one, so we'll play on this. So uh, Falco's my main. He's a, a really cool character. He's like he's got a lot of jumps and whatnot. And he has he has this uh, little winch stream that lets him do uh, uh, so you can yeah you can that's cool. you can smash attack out of dash. I've been playing this a lot yesterday, or when the video comes up, it won't be yesterday. It'll be uh, it, it'll be the a, a couple of days, but. Ooh. I fucked that up. Holy crap. Uh, so, I've been playing this since it came out for a little while. I I didn't really do any adult work that I should have been doing. So, ooh. is that gonna kill him? Nah. So, one of the cool things about this game: there's no shielding, but you can parry. Uh, so it's there's a lot more aggression, in my opinion, and I really like that. It also makes the game really tough. Um, there's no ledge grabbing, so in order, so you can't like recover from the ledge. You ain't. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, 
Oop, see, he parried me, so I get stunned a little bit. It's kind of like uh, if you've ever played the Naruto Storm Revolution game. Oh, that killed me. I thought I—I I guess I'll, I think I used all my jumps. That was the problem. So you can you can do that off stage. Like I'll do it for an example here. Like, see, I can jump back because I have uh, the bird character has four jumps in this game, so uh, I can do that. There you go. That should not KO. So one of the neat things about uh, the the bird character. It, is he can do smash attacks in the air, which is what I'm doing right there. Ooh, that. Got me. Ooh. The other cool thing is you can act out of air dodge, so you can uh, you can avoid some things. Um, by doing that. Sorry, I was getting. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to commentate over this game because I I get really into it when I play melee, so. Yeah! Get spiked, son! That's what we're talking about. So I know I'm bodying these CPUs, so it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, I just wanted to show off a couple of the characters that I like before playing some online. If I play any online. Uh, I'll show you a couple of the ether gate or ether stages. So, uh... The ether version of this stage. So instead of having, uh... Actual, uh, ledge... Ledges... It has a uh, walk off, and you can break these things to uh, add the uh, a pitfall. All right, there you go. Ooh. Yes, on. So the the cool thing about this character is he his up B like summons a freaking pillar, and it 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 really makes uh it really makes a cool dyn or it has like a really cool dynamic because you can uh you can edge guard some people with it. Oop! I thought I had that. So being able to dash attack or. Smash out of dash is actually really cool. That's something you couldn't do in melee. You, the only smash you could do out of a dash is a uh, up smash by jump canceling it. Ooh, he. Falco's also kind of like Meta Knight. Ooh, I thought I had him. That was uh, gonna be sick. There's also no grabs in this game, so I think I think grabbing is really lame in melee. I'd rather hit people. So, uh, in competitive melee, grabs are ridiculous. They like, they like do a lot of uh, crazy things. Like especially if you're a Marth and Sheik player, you get chain grabbed all the day, all day, every day. Trying to parry me, son. And you also could do cool combos like that where you up B into a smash attack because they get hit by your up B. Just a really cool character. Um, and then my other character is uh, Force Burn. Um, we'll go to this stage. Um, Forest Burn's kind of a Marth character. Uh, he has a lot of, like, Marth attributes, like a down tilt and a, uh... His Nair kind of is like Marth's Nair in Melee. Um, but, like, as you can see, he, he has other attributes about him, so, uh... One of the cool things about him is, uh, his... Oh! Oh, don't carry! Alright, we're good. Nice, get wrecked, son. So uh, one of the cool things about him is uh, he. Ooh. So that's one of the stage hazards. Uh, so this character, he creates a uh, smoke, and then he can eat the smoke and uh, use the smoke to do a powerful attack. Ooh, I got wrecked. That parry. So uh, the other thing is you can act out of air dodge. I might have mentioned that already. Um, you can also um, wave dash because there's directional air dodging. So it's a lot of a lot of melee s aspects. And 
And it's just a really cool, fun game. So I wanted to go ahead and do more of this on my channel. Oop, I messed that up. Can I... Can I get it? Oh, I almost had it. I had that smash attack, though. Oh! Get. Oh! No, 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 no! Damn! <laughs> Tried to get out of that, but I guess I couldn't. But he got the same treatment. I'm just going to carry him off the top with hot bears. So, uh... Those are my three main characters, but I'll go ahead and show you... I'll go ahead and show you all of them. So, Forsburn, Crag. Um, the other characters are uh, Maple. He's basically, um... He's like this squirrel guy, and his main... His thing is, he's like, really fast. And he, he puts this mark on the enemies, and then he can snare them with his smash attacks. And his uh, down B. So his down B puts this little tree down, and it like... Oh shit, I messed that up. And his fares that, uh... That's... Yeah, he wasn't recovering. There's no ledge grabbing like, like you saw, so he wasn't coming back from that. Oh. Oh, man. Get out of that combo. Ooh. Let's put, let's put that down. Oh, can I get him? Ooh, came down with that. Oh. Yeah, get wrecked. Can't come back from that shit. Unless you Oh, we got my... We parried my shit. Oh! Oh, I got wrecked. So whenever I have the mark on them, my up B teleports me to the character. Man, these parries. I'm glad uh, players aren't as good at parrying. Ugh! Ooh, ooh, the the counter aerial that was that was clutch, but he's gonna get spiked. Bam! Direct son. I love edge guarding uh, the Zetter burns or Lionel, as like I call it. Um, let's see what kind of colors. I like this one. <laughs> so this character is really weird. Oh, he... That was pretty clutch. Of course. I'll do that. So this character is really weird and like can like do stuff with the smash attacks that like oh I thought I had oh shit that combo is that an up tilt yeah that's up tilt. Uh, combo! Combo! Oh, no, he, wow, he parried me, what a jerk. Man, 
saying they're uh Yeah. So his le his little mechanic is like he teleports to his pole, like his puddle does everything. I just ran off the stage. Oh, B, get wrecked. This so, uh, Maypole and Orcane, they're kind of uh, they're kind of weird. They have a lot of like trap mechanics where they need to have uh, things on the field in order to actually be utilized to their full potential. Um, but they're pretty cool characters. Like every character in the game has a lot of cool mechanics to them to make them unique in some way, and I really like that. Um, our last character, of course, is Zetterbird. He's probably the favorite of everybody. Um, he's kind of like Wolf from Project Melee. If anybody's you played out Wolf, um, he also his mechanic is similar to um, uh, Mayburn, the squirrel dude, but. Uh, what he does is he catches people on fire, and uh, if he hits them with a heavy attack while they're on fire, they, uh, oh, he had his thing on me. Didn't see that. Um, can I get the shine? Bam, get wrecked. So if he has, a, uh, if he's on fire, then my attack do a lot more knockback and damage. Ooh, combo City, get shined. Man, he's just stuffing me with that up till. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, get wrecked. He's also really quick, and he has a lot of combos. So like, it's a it's a really cool character. He's probably one of the best in, in the game at least right now, just because of how much damage he does. Oh, I was trying to get the the Nair into down smash thing. he gonna do? Can he get it? Can he route it? He can also charge this thing in order to get more uh, range and damage. Oh, he he didn't have a, he was having none of my shenanigans. I tried to uh, put him off stage. Oh! I just like slammed the ground and said, "Nope, not having any of it." So those are the six characters. I decided to sh show them off in my first video because I know that I didn't. I didn't expect to have very many. Or, uh, I knew my first video would be kind of uh, just like an introduction to the game. Uh, I didn't really want to play too many online people, and for the first video, I just wanted to show you show you guys the characters and uh, some of the things that they can do. Uh, the I think the the rules is eight minutes, three stocks um, is how it works. 
Uh, four stocks, I, I, I feel like it would be a little bit too much. You can survive quite high. Um, and then uh, not there's very not too many things in the game that give you to like 80% kill percent. Uh, 80% I would say to 100 is the kill percent range for most characters, depending on how you want to kill them. Uh, if they're on fire, Zetterburn can kill them pretty early. Uh, Arcane has some pretty heavy hitting attacks. And then, uh, of course, since Raster's uh, smashes are in the air, you can kind of carry them off stage or up to, off the top with uh, his aerials into a smash, which will kill pretty early. But with the ability to air dodge um, and be actionable out of air dodge, a lot of people... Like, the hit stun seems like a lot, but it's actually often deceptive because it, the hit stun actually isn't super high like it seems. Um, uh, it, it's just like some of the aerials come out quick enough to really follow up and do some pretty nice combos. So, uh, my, my three characters are Forest Burn, Crag, and Raster. Uh, I'm a Falco main in melee, so Raster kind of just was like, oh, hell yeah, I want to go super fast and have aerial, like, I have four jumps and I can carry them off, like, I don't know, just, like, cool combo potential with Raster. Uh, Crag, I just really started liking him because of his boulder and, like, throwing my boulder at people trying to be, or trying to recover. I just, I like the edge guarding mechanics he has, um, as well as the priority and the uh, the cool he has some cool combos and the you like the way his up B works and then Forest Burn also has like the cool combos and I like his I just like that he's kind of like Marth I played Marth a lot in melee as well um, I like the Nair combos and whatnot I just think he's a really cool character I like the rest of them like all the characters I I really enjoy playing um, I would say that my the character I don't like the most would be Maple and Orcane I I do like Maple. But uh, Orkane's kind of just not my style. He's a lot of he's like a trickster. He 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 relies on setting up these traps, these bubble traps, and then like comboing into them, and then using his puddle for like smashes. I'm not that kind of guy. I like being able to do my stuff without relying on like a trick. So, but like Zettered Bird, uh, his his fire mechanic is kind of tricksy, but at the same time he can kill without it. So. And he can combo it without it, so it's. I just like the, uh, I like the these three, and then probably Maple and Zetter Burn are right closely right after, and then Orcane's last on my list. Um, a lot of people like Orcane though, and I've been bodied by some online players who are good at his mechanics. So, really cool game. I would recommend checking it out if you can in some way. Um, it's fifteen dollars right on Steam. I'm not getting supported in any way to do this. I'm like not even a well-known YouTube channel to even be considered for like sponsorship so don't I'm not selling out to you guys I'm selling out to my personal interest in my love of melee is basically what's going on here uh, so anyway um, it's 15 bucks on Steam if you're um, if you're interested um, I'd let I'd recommend checking it out a lot of people are enjoying this game and I bet when it comes out it'll be a lot bigger uh, they just released one of the uh, new characters or they like Revealed one of the new characters is what I should say. Uh, of course, since you, if you can see here, there's two locked characters. Uh, they revealed one of them. I'm not sure what the other one's going to be. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's still in early access. Um, I can't wait to see what story mode turns out to be. I'm kind of interested. And then uh, online options. You can find opponents, and then you can. Uh, uh, you can invite a friend through Steam. Um, some of these videos I might be playing with friends, so uh, we'll see how that goes. A lot of these will be just uh, finding opponents, and we'll go from there. So, anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. I just want to show you guys some of the characters and some of the cool mechanics of the game. Uh, I really do like... Um, I really do like this game a lot, and so it's a uh, really fun game, really cool design. Um, in the beginning, you see that it's made in Game Maker Studio, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. I've actually played around with that, uh, with Game Maker myself, and making a game this, this, uh, like, with this kind of depth, uh, is quite, quite impressive in my opinion. Uh, so, I really hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this. I hope you guys look forward to more Rivals of Aether as, uh, 
as we progress throughout the throughout my channel. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a lot more videos with this kind of stuff in mind. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple montages of my cool moments. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure exactly what kind of stuff I want to do. I just know that I want to do it. So, Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Later.